Hi guys, welcome back. We're gonna continue solving equations, but today we're gonna do two-step equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and I want you to try these two equations and tell me what you get as your answer. So if we do this, we're gonna subtract three from both sides, so we get x equals two. And here we would divide both sides by two, so we get x equals five, okay? And again, we're gonna use our balance beam today. So we're looking here and remember we talked about PEMDAS yesterday, and when we're solving equations, we do backwards PEMDAS. So today, if we see addition or subtraction, we're going to get rid of it before multiplication and division, okay? So I'm going to draw my balance beam because that's going to help me a ton, right? Because what I do to one side of the equals, I have to do to the other side of the equals. So my first question to myself is, what is stopping x from being by itself? And I see this 2 and I see the 6. The 6 is being added to x and the 2 is being multiplied by x. Well, backwards PEMDAS tells me to get rid of that addition subtraction first, okay? So we're untying our shoe before we're taking our shoe off. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides because a positive 6 and a negative 6 cancel to be 0. So I bring down my 2x and 9 minus 6 is 3. Yes. Okay? And then, now I say what is stopping x from being myself by itself? And that would, in fact, be the 2. And the 2 is being multiplied by x, so we're going to divide by 2. And again, we're going to use that fraction bar. The 2 over 2 cancels to be 1. But 2 does not evenly go into 3, so my final answer is just going to be 3 halves, and it is totally fine to get a fraction answer. Could you put it as a decimal? Sure, but why go any further? Could you put it as a mixed number? Sure, but why do more work when you don't have to, right? All right, let's try another one. Okay, so again, I see that I have 4 and negative 3 that is stopping me from having x by itself. Again, backwards PEMDAS tells me to get rid of my addition subtraction first. So in order to get rid of a minus 3, I need to add 3. So the 4x is going to come down. Negative 3 and positive 3 cancel to be 0. Negative 15 plus 3 would be negative 12. Remember, we have to follow all those adding and subtracting rules that we learned in our second chapter. Now I say what is stopping x from being by itself, and that would be 4. And the 4 is being multiplied by x, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4. 4 over 4 cancels to be 1, so I'm left with x equals negative 3, because 4 goes into negative 12 negative 3 times. Okay. All right, let's try a fraction one, which I'm sure you're all super thrilled about. Okay. So again, I'm drawing my line to show what I do to one side and do the other. I'm noticing I have a 1 6 and I have a 1 3rd, and the 1 3rd is subtracting from y, and the 1 6 is multiplying by y. So I'm going to get rid of my addition subtraction first by adding 1 3rd to both sides. Okay? So I know that I have 1 6th y, because this cancels to be 0, equals 2 plus 1 3rd, which is just 2 and 1 3rd. Now I know in a second I'm going to be dividing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this to an improper fraction. So I'm going to have 1 6 y, I'm not doing anything to it. And I'm going to change 2 and 1 third to an improper fraction. So 2 times 3 would be 6 plus 1 would be 7, so I'd have 7 thirds. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 1 sixth, divide by 1 sixth. And what do we do when we are dividing fractions? Because we have a fraction over a fraction. We're going to do copy dot flip flap. So we're going to copy the top one, which would be copy 7 thirds, dot, which becomes multiplication, and flip flap my fraction. Now I can cross reduce if I can. 3 goes into itself once and 3 goes into 6 twice. 7 times 2 is 14. So y equals 14. Okay. And again, we could plug this in and see what we get. Okay, and see if we get 2 back out. Why don't you go ahead? Sorry guys, I had a yawn there. And try this one because it's just decimals. And actually, I'm going to start you off real quick. So notice here. I have an x and a minus 0.5x already on the left side of the equation. So if we have like terms, we should combine them, like we did with the expressions, before we start solving. So x minus 0.5x would be 0.5x plus 1.5 equals 4.5. Now the reason I didn't do that to this side is because I wasn't undoing anything, right? I was just combining my like terms, okay? Now I'm trying to undo stuff to get x by itself. So go ahead and try it from here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and subtract the 1.5 from both sides because we get rid of our addition subtraction first. 
This cancels to be 0, so I'm left with 0.5x on this side. 4.5 minus 1.5 would be 3. We're going to go ahead and divide by 0 0.5, and you may use a calculator if you so desire. Sorry, I didn't switch colors there. So this cancels to be 1, so I'm left with x. And 3 divided by 0.5 is 6. Okay, I believe that's our last problem for today. Oh, no, there's some more. Oh, that's for tomorrow. All right, so good luck with this. Again, we are showing our work on a separate sheet of paper. We're not typing anything today, okay? Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you later. Bye.